hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel in this video i want to show you um a simple strategy you can use to scalp and also catch spikes on crash 500 you know? so i call this strategy the daily directional bias and um it works perfectly fine if you're able to spot it um so you need to watch this video at, uh, to the end so you can get all the information that um you need to succeed in using this particular strategy if you are interested in learning this strategy so you need to really um, watch this video to the to the end all right so the first thing you need for this strategy is to come to the daily time frame as the name implies so you get to the daily time frame and what you need to see is you mark the close of the previous day's candlestick like currently you uh, right now you can see the current day's candlestick that it started around this point started at this point uh, this way the yesterday's candlestick closed it closed bearish and then the current day's candlestick started here it bought a little then sold massively to the downside now and how would we have been um uh, benefited how would we have benefited from these um sales all right so using that strategy what we will do is to actually bring a horizontal line we mount it we place it where we have the close of the previous day's candlestick and the opening of the current day's candlestick so once we place it right there then the next thing we will do is to go down to 15 minutes time frame to find uh to see what we have there although you can still go down different time frames like um maybe you can go down to even the fourly time frame you can see where the current day's candlestick started right here so you can see here on the four early time frame this is where it started if i place the horizon a uh, uh, no the, it started right here yes yeah, you can see this particular four early candlestick marks when today's um today candle today market started right this is a bearish candlestick here and then we can go down you can see it's still closed bearish so even if it would go down to the let's say the one early time frame you will see something that would have made us to want to take a, a chance you know to ch take um, some entry look at this um, bearish engulfing candlestick pattern here you can see all right so let's go down to the 15 minutes time frame so what i usually do is to go to the 15 minutes time frame i don't usually go um to all those other um four early and the one other time frame. i was just trying to show you something there actually all right so when, we, when i get to the 15 minutes time frame we look for where where it happened you can see it's about three and um, we go to where the current day started where the current day started all right so the current day started right here it started right here this is the first 15 minute candle of the current day you know so you can see the market bought to the upside got back to this level and started selling massively to the downside now how would we have been you know um, able to enter this trade mind you this is the horizontal line which we which actually marked the close of the previous day's candlestick so what i'll do what i usually do in this case is to wait for the market to come down after going we want the market to come down and at this time you know create a little pullback then i enter to sell i'm just using i'm mentioning this that i need to get a pullback before i sell that is for you uh for your safety for me i have another way I would have entered the trade you understand but for this video for so that you won't make mistakes just wait for a pullback wait for a pullback and a confirmation the market is uh, con going to continue selling then you enter your trade and you can see there's a, a chance the market can, can sell right at this point you can see market was buying from this point then this bearish candle still went below and coming back to this zone there's a high chance market selling and you see excuse me the market so down up to this level so you can make some good money there now one other thing you should uh, need to consider is the structure of the market as it was coming down as the market was coming you can see the market was actually selling the market was selling so like we'll have something like this the market was selling one moment let me just draw this to show you that one moment take this from here then i'm trying to join this line okay um no see what i actually wanted to mark here this line here then i will just have to do something like this please watch what i'm doing closely all right so you can see 
you can see what is happening at this point this structure that we have here now this particular structure so even if um so even if um after market this way the current this candlestick started you see it went up and i'm getting to this particular high here then i see this bearish engulfing candlestick pattern um i would have entered a trade at this point i would have entered a trade at this point knowing fully where the market is coming from a resistance zone and for the fact that the market is the market the previous this candlestick closed bearish and with this um this particular candlestick pattern i'm seeing here in the current day i will expect the market to continue selling i will expect the market to continue selling so that's what i would do if you want but for you for your safety in case you're not too sure of entering the market there you must you you may wait for the market to go below this line then wait for a pullback then you enter a trade guys you enter a trade and make some cool cash you know you don't need to hold the trade for too long you will make some reasonable amounts of money if you have um uh like let's say how much let's say we have 3.0 here that would be life for some of you who do not have enough money in your account but if you have something reasonable in your account 3.0 even it's just one spike like this particular spike alone this long bearish candlestick is over 60 dollars if you can just get it at that point even if you enter the trade at this point let's say you enter the trade at this point you know then the spike letter came this is about 53 dollars guys but if you use a lot size or maybe a lower lot size you will still have some profit then you, let's say you are able to even hold the trade for a longer time guys you'll make over 100 dollars with just this simple um moves guys this little move you'll make some good cash in the market so the 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 the, the theme of the whole thing is once the market is able to go below the previous day's low then then it, it, it pulls back a little if it pulls back and gives you a sign it's going to continue in the uh, selling like what happened here enter a trade immediately you can find the entry even on a five minutes time frame if you find if you're confused on this 15 minutes time frame you can go to the five minute time frame and try to get your entry well, once you notice the pullback like let's go to the five minutes time frame let's go to the five minutes time frame and this is that point here look at that uh point right here this is the area where that market did that you can see so market was giving all this bearish engulfing then it bought up to the upside then maybe i would have entered on the close of this candlestick this bearish candlestick with a week down then i would have entered then you can see the massive spikes to the downside guys so but personally i will enter the trade far up here before it comes down but for you you need to wait for the market to come down and even on the daily time frame on this five minute time frame you can still enter the market at this point guys if you are smart you enter the market at this point why there is something I'm seeing here. I, I don't feel I should explain this to avoid confusion for some of you. Maybe I'll do another video to show you some of these spikes. Another easy, very easy way you can be catching spikes. It works about 80% of the time. Listen, I'm telling you. But I'm going to, I'll, I'll do it in my new video in the next video. I'll show you this thing works almost 90% of the time or 80% of the time. It works a lot. You know so if you can always wait for it then you can always enter some profitable trades guys but meanwhile for this particular video look out for a pullback look for a pullback then you know the market is going to continue selling then you enter your trade and make your money and get out of the market guys all right so that was just an example of the strategy how it works you know let's look for other opportunities i don't want this video to be long let me go to the same daily time frame and that was an opportunity to sell that was an opportunity to sell. Let's look for an opportunity to buy. Let's see a, a, an opportunity to buy. And let's say I place this, a, this line here where we have this um, bullish candlestick that closed with a long wick to the upside. You see, the close of this candlestick, I have placed a horizontal line. I hope the line, I think I should reduce the thickness of this line so I can um, place it over. Okay. All right, I think I'm at the right spot. So you can see, let's check uh, what we have there. Let's show what we have there. We'll go down to the 15 minutes time frame. All right, so on the 15 minutes time frame, guys, look at what happened. What date was this? Let's go to the date. Let's confirm the date. This happened on the 29th of April, 2024. Let's go to 29th of April and see when we market actually started. All right, so 29th of April. Guys, one moment. I need to...
moment. All right, all right. Sorry, I had to get this to out of here so I can use it. Okay. So we we'll look at the 29th of um of April. Let's see what we have there. On the 29th, this is um make it the cross here too. When the where did it start? Okay. All right. This bullish candlestick is the first candlestick that was formed on the 29th of April. This bullish candlestick. No, okay, yes, the first candlestick that was formed. This bullish candlestick. All right, so what happened? You can see market went up. Let me bring this uh, arrow line. You can see this is the first candlestick that was formed on that day. Then market went up, then pulled back. Guys, you see, there was a, a bullish movement, and market pulled back. Then with these two candlesticks, you know the market is actually rejecting. There's no how you see this kind of two candles. You know, the market is actually rejecting, especially for the fact that the market closed with the bullish candlestick with the, uh, the previous day. And you are having this. Guys, the market bought to the to this uh, level first. The market bought, then still came down. So you, even for, let's say you enter the market, let's say somewhere here, you made some good money getting to this point. Then also, you see, with the market on getting to this level, you see it sold back down and went below this line, still on that same deal. Then it came up again. You see the massive buys to the upside. See the massive buys to the upside. See the massive buys to the upside. So now what I am trying to show you is if you can always mark the close of the previous day's candlestick, you know, and allow market to go above it or below it and close below or above, you can always enter a trade. Uh, you don't need to be greedy in the market, you know, because this thing you are just learning, um, this strategy does not guarantee that the market would go too far, you know, except you really understand price action and or any other concept that will help you determine if the market will go a long way or not, you know. But if the market gives you an opportunity based on this strategy, guys, you don't need to hold trade for too long. You can use five candlesticks to make, you can make good profit with just five candlesticks if you are scalping. You can make good profit with just um, three spikes if you are catching spikes. You know to be on the safe side except you really understand the market maybe you can just be using this particular strategy to determine the directional bias then you use your other um the knowledge you've gained from other stuff to determine if the market will actually sell for a long time or buy for a long time but else i'll ask you i would ask you to always um stick to you know trying to get a few candlesticks out of the market a few spikes you're out of the market that way you remain profitable than trying to hold trades for too long and at the end you lose the little ones you you had already made that's what is happening to so many of you you want to learn how to hold trades and you don't know how what to do when holding trades you know you you be in profit and you see you've made something reasonable and you won't close the trade you just feel i should hold I, I this guy has been holding this person has been holding i've been seeing people on youtube they are holding trades they can hold trade for one day they can hold it for five hours do you have the knowledge, not the knowledge that they have? Do you have the skills that they have? You know, can you analyze the market the way they do? Do you know if they are just risking the account? Whatever happens can happen. And you that are struggling to even fund the account, you want to be like them. You end up blowing your account today, tomorrow, and forever. Except you try to take the little you have. You know, so that is it, guys. This strategy is very simple. It works both in catching spikes and in scalping. You can continue checking even on the other pace, not just this crash 500. It works on other pace too. It works on other pace too. Like, let me just show you something else here. You can see what happened here. See what happened here. This is a close of um, a, uh, a day's candlestick, and this is the following day. What happened? The market bought to the upside. Now, let's check what happened that day. Let's check what happened. This was on the um this was on the 27th of april 27th of april the day we are following was 26 so let's go to 27 and 26 to see what actually happened on the 15 minutes time frame let's go to 27 and 26 on the 15 minutes time frame this is 24 26 okay 27 let's see 27th of april started around here 
okay the first candlestick is this bullish candlestick you see the market what the market did first it went up first then did a little kind of a spike down as if it is pulling back then it went up got to this level then sold down to the downside now sometimes you might enter a trade like let me really explain something here because i told you guys you want to see a pullback before I enter a trade let's say the market came down here and you enter the trade on maybe i don't know about what will make you to enter a trade at this point after saying this because personally i can't see a confirmation to enter a trade at this point you see so but you see what the market did it continued selling down so at this point all you need to do is just to focus on what the market is trying to form because the market actually formed a structure here before it it bought massively There's a, there was a structure here if you can see market formed this structure if you understand my strategy you will see that there was a structure right here you know then what did the market do you see there was a structure here market selling creating higher highs and higher lows so what, what happened market down created this this was the this was a lower low and this is a lower high what happened market went above this higher low lower high then with this pullback here on this same level you can see the next candlestick was bullish and engulfed the previous candlestick which uh, which was bearish now you see the massive buys to the upside so this is an opportunity to have entered the trade at this point to make the money now what i am actually trying to say in essence is this if you try to once you notice there is a kind of a pullback and you want to enter a trade and it doesn't work guys wait there must be something the market is forming once you notice the market is not actually going in that direction you expect it check if wait for it the market might be forming a structure then you try to follow that structure wait for a breakout then you enter the trade and um, enter the trade and sell with peace of mind you can see the 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 buys to the upside you see guys so it's very simple this thing requires practice you cannot just understand immediately watching this video you need to go and watch this video watch this video and watch this video you know the the whole idea is you wait for the close of the previous day's candlestick and you wait for the market to go either above or below it give you a confirmation before you enter the trade if the market doesn't give you a confirmation after a pullback wait if it is actually forming a structure wait for it to break out of that structure then with a little pullback then go this time around and you make some good money guys it requires patience you know uh one of uh, one of my subscribers i think he has been attending my free trainings and has been trying uh yeah he just sent me a message recently said he he sent a screenshot to me and i'm i'm impressed you know he said he followed one of these strategies i posted here on this youtube channel and he's really making it it's helping him though he's practicing on a demo account but there is hope if he can practice that on a demo account then he can you can also replicate it on a real account i only advise them to ensure not to use bigger lot sizes just use small lot sizes as you trade on your demo account use lot small lot sizes so that it won't affect you when you start funding your account because many traders especially the newly the in fact many traders can't fund can't really fund the account much most of you will be funding with twenty dollars ten dollars five dollars twenty thirty dollars you know and that mindset of trading with big lot sizes that you had on you know where you were trading on demo accounts can influence you because the profit you'll be seeing on your real account because of the smaller size you'll be trying to use to save the account will make you feel you're not doing anything so in that case you might say ah, let me try to increase the lot size i should make a good profit today you know you end up blowing up the account with a little pullback you know so it's best you try to trade on your demo account with the same lot size you can you know um, is commensurate to the amount you would be able to fund your account to trade else there's a very high chance of blowing up your account after funding that's what happens to a lot of people who claim they are profitable on demo account when they get to the real account they blow it up it's part of those things you know a lot of things come to play on your real account emotion comes in you know things change it's not it's not the broker it is you there's nothing wrong with the broker it is you no there's nothing wrong with derivatives you so you need to work on yourself because that thing the same way you approach a demo account is different from the way you approach every account all right so all you need to do is you know um, get somebody to talk to you there's a link in the description of this video that takes you to my free telegram channel you need to get there you know most times i post high probability setups while i also post um, information about my events that are, re are really beneficial to everyone who joins the telegram channel and my uh, youtube subscribers so once you get to the telegram channel you'll find my direct contact where you can 
reach me so that we can ne- negotiate your mentorship all right so and if you're ready to, for, to be mentored contact me else no matter the amount you have please just forget about the mentorship i like to people that would want to see results so if you are really ready to work you know learn how to trade from uh, learn my my skills my strategy contact me as soon as you can then we'll negotiate it and you are to follow just my strategy you have to practice only what i will teach you you know once i get the money from you that is all I, what i only do is to teach you what i think is necessary you are now the one to make sure that you succeed because i will give you the information what is left for you to do is for you to just apply it so guys i would like seeing people succeeding from you know after enrolling in my mentorship program i have a lot of successful students guys so i want you to be part of it so click on that link and contact me as for your mentorship training and also also please if you have not subscribed to this channel and you're just watching the video for the first time or you've been watching my videos without subscribing guys please do well to support this channel click on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified each time i drop a valuable information or video like this and also like this video so that the algorithm can share it to others who are also in search of this kind of information share your thoughts in the comment section guys and uh, meanwhile um good news we may be having our um training free training i'll be having a free session with you guys maybe on sunday but so join the telegram channel so you get the information and um stay blessed till my next video peace out